loves, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am sharing with you guys step-by-step -step on how I do my glowy makeup routine. There's also a fun Q&A little chit-chat in today's video, so I hope you guys enjoy. And if you want to know more about how to create this look, then keep on watching. So the first step to having glowy, bright skin is your skincare. I already did all of my skincare, um, but I wanted to show you guys these two products. This is the last of my skincare before applying my makeup. So I go ahead and go in with the Alginist, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Alginist Algae Niacinamide Moisture Veil. And this stuff leaves your skin so glowy, you just need a few drops. I usually do like two or three. And you can see that it has like a little bit of a sheen to it, a little bit of a glow. So I just put this all over my face. Just kind of dab it into the skin and then I'm gonna go in with the glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer and this is in the shade nude glow this stuff is amazing it really does leave your skin feeling really hydrated and moisturized and just like plump and you can see it also has like a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't want to say like sparkle because it definitely doesn't have like glitter or anything like that so that's really nice. It just has like a little bit of a glow to it. So for foundation I have been loving the best skin ever by Sephora Collection and I always use a damp beauty blender because to me it just applies it better than a brush and you just need a little bit of this. A little goes a very long way. And I am in the shade N26. And this stuff seriously does look like your skin, but better. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look heavy on the skin. It's just really, really natural. Let's go ahead and get into the Q&A as we do our makeup. I've never done anything like this before, so Hopefully this video isn't like an hour long. I asked you guys over on Instagram um, some questions um, that you guys wanted to know, so I'm going to answer them now. I'm going to go in with the CC screen, and this is my favorite, favorite product. I've been using this for probably almost a year now, and I still have this too, which is pretty full. So I am in the shade 215N. And it is a little bit lighter, so I kind of use this in places where I would use my concealer. So under the eyes, and then um, places where I want it to be a little bit brighter. Alright, so first question is, tips to get started with a channel and challenges. My best tip would be just go for it. Don't worry about what anyone thinks. I wanted to start a YouTube channel for the longest, longest time. Like honestly, since I was in high school, I would think about it, but I let my fears get in the way. I worried a lot about what people thought about me and I was just worried that I was gonna get made fun of. I mean, even when I created my YouTube channel, I was still worried, you know, even though I was out of high school and, you know, out of college and stuff like that, I was still, worried what people would think about me. I was worried about what my family would think. I I just let it get in the way and honestly I wish I would have done it sooner because it's so fun and what I love most about it is it's like a, it's like a documentation of your life. You can go back and look at videos and now that I have um, Beckham, I like to go back and look at videos of, you know, him when he was a baby, and it's just so fun to document that. So, you know, my tip is just do it. Don't worry about what anyone thinks. Don't worry if you're going to be good at it or bad at it because, you know, chances are you're not going to be the best when you first start because, you know, I mean, you might be. I know I wasn't. Um, I know most people aren't. And you just can't 
let that fear get in the way. You can't let what other people think about you get in the way. Just do it for yourself and it's so much fun. For challenges that I come across, I would definitely say making time. I wish I had more time for it. I would like to put out two to three videos a week, but you know, my schedule just doesn't allow me to do that. I'm gonna go in with contour and I wanna talk about this product really quick. So I know for the longest time this was sold out. It's the Charlotte Tilbury a contour wand and this is in the shade medium deep I found this on the actual Charlotte Tilbury website and this is my favorite product I have probably ever owned I am obsessed with this product it has totally changed the game of contouring I was never great at contouring but I feel like this has made it a lot easier so really really quick I just put some on my forehead and this stuff is so blendable so it's okay if you add a little bit too much because I know it's kind of easy and I just go down the nose and I will give you a warning I look crazy after I apply this but once you put all your other makeup and blend everything out it looks so good so instead of going on your actual, like below your cheekbone, you want to go above it because it's going to lift your cheekbones and give that illusion to your face that you have that like lifted cheekbone and very like sultry look. So go above, almost like right in the middle of your cheek. Don't be shy. <laughs> and then I go under the jawline. Because, you know, your girl's got a little bit of a double chin, so this really helps. And this next step has totally changed the game. Ever since I started doing this, every time I put, like, a picture up on Instagram, I get comments on, oh, did you get lip filler? Where did you get your lip filler? Da, da, da. And it's not that I just recently got lip filler. It's that I am contouring my lips. So, like I told you gonna look so crazy I look like a maniac but it's fine so I do put that and then I just blend it very very gently this is just a regular like stippling blush brush so you just want to like barely let the bristles hit your face and blend out so I'm gonna blend the whole face next question is do you use sunscreen on your hands and the answer is no <laughs> I mean sometimes I do I guess if I'm putting it on my face or like if I'm at the pool I put it on but I need to keep some in my bag with me or even in my car because your hands are one of the first places on your body to show age and especially like when you're driving your hands are like directly in the sun so I know it's so important to be putting sunscreen all over your body not just your face um, so I want to get better at that I just yeah I'm, I'm really bad at sunscreen on my hands I feel like I'm good at putting sunscreen on my face my neck and my body I'm pretty decent but um, I need to get better at that that's definitely um, one of my goals is to get better at that because it's so important to use sunscreen. Can't stress that enough. Uh, next question is your thoughts on Botox. I want to get my forehead and my eyelids done if that's a thing. LOL. Um, so my thoughts on Botox. I have gotten Botox twice now actually. I got it done the first time two years ago. And then I got it done again like six months ago. And I'm also, um, I have an appointment in the beginning of September. So I'm going to be getting it again in September. Um, but my thoughts on it is I love it. Um, I do know how people can, you know, get a little crazy with it and get carried away and just keep doing it. Um, but I think if you start off slow and if you start off just a little bit at a time I think it's fine I only get Botox on my forehead I used to have these two lines right here that are pretty bad which is 
definitely genetics it's hereditary because almost every one in my family has it so i got my forehead done which i absolutely loved not only did i see a difference in wrinkles but just my skin in general i feel like it cleared up my forehead it cleared up any like texture that i have i loved it so much but i need to go again so i have my appointment in the beginning of september and as for the eyelids i know that they can like sprinkle a little bit of botox here kind of around your eye area and it does like pull back your skin and give that illusion of like an eye lift i have never done that but i do know people that have and it looks really great so definitely go get a consultation and just tell them what you want tell them you don't want you know anything super crazy you just want to start off with a little bit and you know if you like it or you feel like you need more later on you could always add more um but as for uh, botox fillers i think it's totally your choice if it's something that you know you would feel more confident about after getting that done then do it i mean do what makes you feel happy and don't give a crap what anyone says um for lips i get half syringes of filler and i go about every six to eight months the injector that i go to she tells me that i should be going a little bit sooner than six to eight months in order for your body to kind of hold in the filler so i want to try you know going a little bit sooner i just time flies and it just gets away from me so whenever i go back in september i'm getting a half syringe of filler and then i'm getting a little bit of botox on my forehead that's all i do for now um, maybe later on as i start to age i will feel like i need to add more for now that's all I do. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Ilia setting powder. This is the soft focus powder and this stuff is amazing. I just use a Sephora brush and I just apply this under my eyes. Anywhere where I want there to be a little bit of a highlight and also just kind of... It mattifies the skin but it doesn't mattify it to the point where it like takes the glow away. So it just really like blurs out any lines, any creases in your makeup, anywhere that needs like blending. Next question is, where have you been, girl? <laughs> so I have been a little MIA from YouTube for a couple weeks, it might even be a month. So I try to put out at least one video a week. That's like my goal. If I could do two videos a week, that's like the best but at least one video um with my busy schedule but i actually was sick i was sick for over two weeks almost like three weeks i'm barely now starting to feel like a hundred percent i got covid tested it was negative so i don't really know what it was um i do get strep throat very very often like i probably get strep throat at least three three times a year maybe um very very often and i don't know if it was strep but i kind of think it turned into bronchitis because i had this very like, nasty cough and honestly still to this day i still have like a little bit of congestion and a little bit of that cough but definitely not as bad as it was i was like knocked out for a good week to two weeks and it just kept lingering so yeah that was probably the sickest that i had been and then um i ended up getting a really really bad migraine that lasted for a while as well so i just feel like my health was just kind of going downhill really fast and i needed to take care of that before you know i started recording videos and yeah this is actually the first time in a while that i've felt like myself i'm gonna go ahead and go over my bronzer just a little bit with the mark jacobs bronzer this is the tantastic omega bronze coconut perfect tan 
So I just go over it a little bit just to kind of set it and like blend it a little bit so it doesn't look so crazy. Next, I'm going to do eyebrows. So I start off by brushing them out. So brush those babies up. And then I'm going to go in with the Glossier Brow Flick. And this stuff is my favorite. I love it so, so much. And you could just do like little, little hair strokes like that. And I kind of don't go on any particular crazy step. I just go with my brow hairs. Sorry, I'm blocking the cam. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I just brush them up. For eyeshadow, I just go ahead and go in with the I Love Bloom Sephora Collection Eye Palette. And I just use a mixture of this middle brown color and like this shimmery one. And I just go all over the lid. Okay, let's get back to the questions. Okay, have you or would you ever have plastic surgery? No, I have never had plastic surgery. And would I? Yes, I would and I do want to get my boobs done. I don't really hate my boobs. I wouldn't say it's like a crazy insecurity or anything like that, but they definitely used to be more perky <laughs> before I had a baby. So I definitely wouldn't go like huge or anything like that. I would keep them very, very natural, but just like lifted, you know? So that's the only kind of plastic surgery that I would have. I'm not against it. Like I said, with filler and Botox, I think if it makes you happy, then do it. I mean, life is too short to be, you know, unhappy about something that, you know, you look at every day in the mirror, you know. So um, I just take an angled brush and I just take this dark color mixed with this one over here and I just make like a winged liner and it's okay if you don't do this perfect because we're gonna blend it out and I suck at wing liner and this is why I do it this way is because it's easier and if you mess up it's totally fine so you can see it's not perfect but I just take that same brush that I was using and I just blend out. I don't really go too crazy with mascara, but I love this one. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is just a mini one. I need to get the full size one because I really do love this mascara. You guys hear me talk about this blush all the time. It's the Cloud Paint by Glossier. My favorite shade is in the color Puff. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is liars. People who lie, just people that can't be straight up with you. Whether, you know, I don't know why or what it is, but these days everyone is just like very sensitive i mean that sounds a little harsh but i i like when people are straight up i feel like it's the same with dating i have a lot of friends that have hard times dating and the other person just can't be straight up and they string people along or they end up ghosting people i hate the term ghosting people first of all i just think that's so cringy I hate that people do that in the first place. Like, just be straight up with people and say, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm sorry, I don't like the vibes that you're putting off. I don't <laughs> want to talk to you anymore or, you know, whatever it is. I just, I don't know. I just wish people were more honest these days and it's just really hard to find honest people. But yeah, that's my biggest pet peeve is people that aren't honest and people who lie. Um, what is your drink of choice? So I assume you're talking about 
alcohol or maybe that's bad for me <laughs> to assume that you're talking about alcohol um but my favorite alcoholic drink would be uh amaretto sa sour why did i say that word amaretto sour i could drink a pina colada all day long i love pina coladas i like frozen drinks i am a very sweet kind of person so any drink that is sweet i like Okay, really quick, I'm going to go in with the Glow Milk, and this is by the brand The Beauty Crop. And this has coconut oil in there, and it's great for your face and body, and this stuff is magic. It's lasted me such a long time, and so I just put a little bit on my hand, on the back of my hand. And I just take a little brush, and I just put it on... the top of my cheekbone. I'll kind of blend it out with my finger a little bit. There's blend it out. And then I kind of just put it everywhere. <laughs> I'll put a little bit above my cupid's bow. I'll put a little bit on the tip of my nose and a little bit down the bridge of my nose. AJ's watching Beckham right now while I film this, so. Mama's doing a makeup video. Makeup. Hey, it's lipstick. Oh, thank you. I did need that next. Um, so my other drink of choice that is not um, alcohol <laughs> would be coffee. Uh, tea, I love matcha, chai tea, um, pretty much any kind of tea, hot tea, chamomile tea, yeah, coffee, water. I don't drink soda. Um, I don't really drink any like carbonated drinks. I love kombucha. This has been one of my favorite lip combos. I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude and then I put the Lifter Gloss which is like a Kim Kardashian lip gloss dupe and this is in the shade Ice. It's just like a clear color that has like a little bit of a shimmer so it just really looks like your lips are super plump. Last question that I'm going to answer is what's the hardest part of having a baby uh, slash toddler? I would say the hardest part about having a kid, baby, toddler in general, would be when you're sick and all you want to do is rest and you can't because babies, toddlers are very, very needy. So. That is definitely the hardest part about having a baby is just needing to rest when you're sick or you're just tired, not feeling good, and you can't because you have to take care of them all the time. So that is really hard. Luckily, my family is amazing and they help so much. When I was sick a few weeks ago, my mom took Beckham, my aunt took Beckham, and they helped out so, so much. I feel like anytime I'm not feeling good or I'm sick, they're always there to help. So, yeah, it really helps having, like, family or if you have friends that could help out. Um, yeah, it's like a lifesaver when you have someone to help. So, if I'm going out... I add this step in as well. I just take any kind of like bronzy, glowy kind of palette or bronzer. This one is my favorite. I think it was limited edition. Um, but yeah, this is the Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise palette. And I like to go in with this shade. It's called Shady Bitch. <laughs> and I just take any old kind of brush. And I just add this to my shoulders. And then I'll add a little bit to my decollete. 
and it just really gives you that bronzy tan look and I absolutely love it so yeah this is the finished look really glowy and natural not too crazy or heavy I'll see if I can get it in like more of the natural light so yeah this is what it looks like this is my favorite go-to look anytime that I go out with friends or go to any kind of event or anything like that this is the makeup that I've been wearing and yeah like I said the contour stick if you guys get any product from this whole video let me find it where did I do with it get the contour stick if it's available I know it's always sold out so try and get your hands on this because this is magic it blends so well as you can see blends amazing and yeah this is my favorite it is a little bit pricey but a little goes a very long way and also the lip combo this you can find at target walgreens walmart i think ulta but yeah it's a maybelline lifter gloss has hyaluronic acid so it really really plumps your lips and then the iconic nude is it's iconic <laughs> i love it so much so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye loves